Support for this episode is provided by ArborTech. Work smarter. Hey everyone, and thanks for tuning in. I'm John Peters, and for this project, I'm building a small organizational cabinet that will fit underneath my sander. It's essentially just a box with two drawers in it. I've already cut the parts of the box to size, so now I'm going to assemble the box, and then I'll get to work on those drawers. I'll build the cabinet by screwing the parts together. So first I'll measure and mark, measuring in 3 eighths of an inch, which is half the distance of 3 quarters of an inch. And then I'll measure in an inch and 3 quarters looks good for this project on each side. Put a mark and then I'll make a mark in the middle. So there'll be three screws on each side. Next I'll use a number 8 pre-drill and countersink bit to pre-drill and countersink for the screws. To build the cabinet, I'm using wood glue, and I'll just tack the parts together with an inch and a quarter nail just to hold them in place, and then I'll use an inch and five-eighths screw. Making sure I'm nice and flush. Okay, so now I've got the box or the cabinet just about complete. I still need to add the back, but before I do that, I want to explain how the drawers are going to work. I'm going to have a deeper drawer in the bottom, and that drawer will run along the bottom of the cabinet and be supported by the bottom of the cabinet. For the top drawer, I'll need to add a cleat on each side of the cabinet. To support the top drawer, I'll rip two cleats from this piece of poplar that measure three quarters by one inch. I'll cross cut the cleats at the same depth as the cabinet. Instead of using my tape measure, I'm using a piece of scrap wood to mark where I want to line up the cleat. So I'll hold the bottom of the cleat at that mark. Again, I'm going to use wood glue and I'll tack the cleat in place with an inch and a quarter nail and then I'll use an inch and five eighths screw. For the back of the cabinet, I'm using a piece of half inch birch plywood and I'll attach it with wood glue and inch and a quarter nails. This is kind of a neat trick when you're applying glue. You can use your finger as a guide and you'll be able to put a glue bead right down the center of whatever it is you're working with. What I'm going to do next is pad the cabinet up by three quarters of an inch and you'll understand why when I go to attach it to the sander. To do that I'm going to rip this piece of three quarter inch plywood in half and I'll add a piece at the front of the cabinet and a piece at the back. To attach the plywood fillers, I'll use wood glue and inch and a quarter nails. Next I'll get to work on the drawers and the measurements I need are the depth of the cabinet, the width of the cabinet, and the measurement from the bottom of the cabinet to the bottom of this cleat. For the top drawer, again, I need the depth of the cabinet, the width of the cabinet 
and the measurement from the top of the cleat to the bottom of the cabinet or the bottom of the top of the cabinet. I thought I'd take a minute just to explain how I come up with the measurements for the parts of the drawer. So these are the drawer sides, so they're three quarter inch plywood. There's two sides, so we double them up, that's an inch and a half. And then we'll take the opening, which in this case is 26 and a half inches. We'll subtract the inch and a half, and then we'll subtract the sixteenth of an inch just to give the drawer some room to move. So here's the drawer front, cut the size. And you can see it fits in there with just about a sixteenth of an inch to spare. Next I'll cut the groove for the drawer bottom. I've set the fence at five sixteenths of an inch and the height of the blade at one quarter. I'll make one pass cutting a groove in all the drawer sides and the drawer fronts. I'll move the fence over about a sixteenth of an inch make another pass and then test it on the quarter inch plywood that I'm using for the drawer bottoms. We'll give it a test fit and it fits but that's a little bit too tight so I'm going to tap the fence over just a little bit and make another pass. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I'll make that second pass on the rest of the parts except for the backs. The fence will stay at the same measurement and now I'll raise the blade and cut through the backs. Next, I'll cut the drawer bottoms to size. I'm building the drawers with wood glue and inch and a quarter nails. And I'll be careful as I move the drawer around. These are just simple butt joints and then I'll reinforce the joint with a screw after I've tacked the parts together. Next, I'll add a bead of glue in the groove at the front of the drawer and drop the drawer bottom into place. There we go. Then I'll mark a line and nail the drawer bottom into the drawer back. I'm adding a bead of hot glue at the bottom of the drawer for some additional support. And I also like to add a bead where the drawer bottom meets the drawer back. Okay, so now I've got the drawers finished and you can see how they fit into the cabinet. Next, I'll get to work on the drawer fronts.
For the sides of the drawer front, I'm using iron on edge banding and I'll break it a little bit heavy and I'll use a clothes iron to attach it to the edge of the drawer front. After attaching the iron on edge banding, I'll score it with a razor blade and simply break it off. On the face, I'll use a sanding block with 80 grit sandpaper. To trim the front of the cabinet, I'm using a piece of 3 quarter inch birch plywood ripped to an inch and a half. For the drawer poles, I'm ripping a piece of cherry at a 5 degree angle. I'll soften up the top of the drawer pole with a small roundover bit in the router. For the finish, I'll spray two coats of water-based polyurethane, sanding in between coats with 220 sandpaper. I'll use squeeze clamps to clamp the drawer front in place and attach the drawer front with inch and a quarter screws. I've used painter's tape and marked where I'll need to drill holes to attach the drawer poles. And I'm using a combination square to help make sure that I drill the holes straight. To attach the cabinet to the sander, I'm using eight inch and a half number 10 screws. almost there really okay well I've got a little bit of a mistake here it is a shop cabinet so I'm not going to get too excited and it's a pretty simple fix I'll use a sanding disc in my grinder and shave a little bit off of each corner of the drawer Okay, well, I'm really happy with the way that cabinet turned out. A little mistake there, but a pretty easy fix. That's all part of woodworking. Uh, but always nice to be able to utilize otherwise useless space. And in a shop this small, it's only about 14 and a half by 25. Uh, any little bit of storage space that I can pick up is always a plus. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. If this is the first time that you've tuned into my channel, I hope that you'll subscribe and hit that like button. And also check out my website. I provide free plans for all my woodworking projects. So if you want to get out in the shop over the weekend and you don't know what to build, do a quick search on the free plans on my site and you'll be able to find projects that might take you a day. You might find some projects that could take you a month or two. So there's a wide range of projects to pick, to pick from. Uh, I guess that's it for now. As always, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.